Have you ever felt a moment so intense it left you questioning reality? Maybe it was a brush with death like narrowly avoiding a car crash or surviving an accident where the odds seemed impossible. Your heart pounds, you catch your breath and you wonder, how am I even alive? What if I told you there's a theory that suggests you might not have been, at least not in some versions of reality? What if your survival wasn't just luck but something far more mysterious, your consciousness shifting to another version of the universe where you did survive? This idea, called quantum immortality, is one of the most intriguing concepts ever proposed and it has the potential to completely change how we think about life, death, and everything in between. Stick with me, because by the end of this journey, you might never look at reality the same way again. Let's start with something we can all relate to, near-death experiences. You've probably heard of these before, stories of people who were clinically dead for minutes, only to come back with vivid memories. They talk about floating above their bodies, walking through tunnels of light, or feeling a sense of peace so overwhelming it changes their lives forever. But here's the question that keeps scientists scratching their heads. If the brain stops functioning during these moments, where are these memories coming from? Could it be that their consciousness is traveling somewhere else? A fascinating study conducted by Dr. Sam Parnia and his team at NYU Langone Medical Center analyzed over 2,000 cases of cardiac arrest patients who had been resuscitated. Shockingly, nearly 40% of survivors reported experiences they couldn't explain, things they saw or felt while they were clinically dead. One patient even described details of the operating room that they couldn't have seen from their position. Now, let's add another layer to this puzzle, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. This idea suggests that every time a decision is made, or a random event occurs, the universe splits into different versions. Think of it like flipping a coin. In one version of reality it lands heads, in another it lands tails. Both versions exist, but you only experience one. Now here's where it gets really strange. Imagine you're in a life or death situation like crossing a street and narrowly avoiding being hit by a bus. In one universe, you don't make it, but in another, you do. Quantum immortality suggests that your consciousness, your sense of self, might continue only in the versions of reality where you survive. This might sound like science fiction, but it's rooted in real physics. The many worlds interpretation, first proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in 1957, is widely studied and supported by researchers even today. While it remains a theory, its implications are profound. If every possible outcome exists, what does that mean for life and death? Let me break this down with a story. Imagine a scientist conducting an experiment called quantum suicide. This is a thought experiment where a device is set up to measure the spin of a quantum particle. If it spins one way, the scientist survives. If it spins the other way, the machine delivers a fatal result. According to the many worlds theory, there are universes where the scientist dies and others where they live. But here's the twist. The scientist's experience of reality is only ever in the versions where they survive. This raises a profound question. Is it possible that our consciousness is immortal? Not in the sense of living forever in one body, but by continuing in alternate versions of reality. But wait, this isn't just about death. It's about life. Think about how often we experience moments that feel like impossible luck. You're running late for a flight, and somehow the plane is delayed just long enough for you to make it. You lose control of your car on an icy road and somehow you don't hit anything. Is this just coincidence, or could it be evidence of something deeper? Take the case of Anita Morjani, a woman diagnosed with terminal cancer. Her doctors had given up hope, and her family was preparing for the worst. But after slipping into a coma, Anita had an experience she described as crossing over. She said she felt an overwhelming sense of peace and clarity, as though she were part of something much bigger. When she woke up her cancer was gone. Doctors were baffled, but Anita believes her consciousness moved through something beyond our understanding. If quantum immortality is real, it might offer an explanation for stories like Anita's. It suggests that consciousness is not confined to our physical bodies but is something much larger, capable of navigating between realities. Now let's talk about science. In 2013 researchers at the University of California conducted experiments that revealed particles behave differently when they're being observed. This phenomenon, known as the observer effect, suggests that consciousness plays a role in shaping reality itself. Nobel Prize winning physicist Max Planck even stated, I regard consciousness as fundamental. We cannot get behind consciousness. Everything we talk about, everything we regard as existing, postulates consciousness. Think about what this means. If our consciousness is connected to the fabric of reality, then perhaps it doesn't end when our physical bodies do. Instead it could continue to exist in some form, potentially shifting to another version of the universe. Here's another perspective. Dr. Robert Lanza, a leading scientist and the author of The Theory of Biocentrism, argues that death is an illusion created by our perception of time. According to Lanza, consciousness is not a byproduct of the brain but a fundamental part of the universe itself. In his words, life is an adventure that transcends our ordinary linear way of thinking. When we die, our life becomes a perennial flower that blooms in the multiverse. Now I want to take a moment to ask you something. Have you ever felt like there's more to life than what we see? that nagging feeling that we're connected to something greater? If you've ever experienced anything that made you question reality, let me know in the comments. Let's circle back to near-death experiences for a moment. 
A 2018 study published in the Journal of Near-Death Studies analyzed over 3,000 cases and found that the majority of people who experienced them reported a profound sense of interconnectedness. They described feeling like their consciousness was expanding, as though they were part of an infinite web of existence. Could these experiences be glimpses of quantum immortality in action? Let me share another story with you. In 1975, pilot Ernest Gann was flying a small plane when he encountered engine trouble over the Pacific Ocean. Facing almost certain death he suddenly felt a sense of calm, he described it as a knowing that everything would be okay. Moments later, he spotted a tiny, uninhabited island and managed to crash land safely. Gan later said it felt as though he had stepped into another version of reality where survival was possible. Here's something else to consider. If consciousness really can shift between parallel realities, it might explain certain phenomena we've all experienced, like deja vu for instance. You know that feeling when you're sure you've been somewhere or done something before even though it's impossible? Some researchers speculate that deja vu could be evidence of your consciousness momentarily syncing with another version of reality, but let's not stop there. Did you know that scientists estimate there are up to 10 to the power of 500 possible universes in the multiverse? That's a number so vast it's impossible to comprehend. If even a fraction of those universes contain versions of you, then quantum immortality becomes a very real possibility. Of course, there are skeptics. Many scientists argue that the many worlds interpretation while fascinating is unprovable. And quantum immortality, as an extension of that theory, raises more questions than answers. But isn't that the beauty of it? The fact that we don't have all the answers means there's still so much to explore. As we near the end of this journey, let me leave you with one final thought. If quantum immortality is real, it challenges everything we think we know about life and death. It suggests that our consciousness, our sense of self, is not confined to this one body, this one lifetime. Instead, it's part of a vast, interconnected tapestry of realities. So what does this mean for you? Maybe it means we should live with less fear and more curiosity. Maybe it means that every moment matters because it's part of something much bigger than we can imagine. Now I want to hear from you. Do you believe in the possibility of quantum immortality? Have you ever experienced something that made you question the nature of reality? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this video fascinating, share it with someone who loves exploring life's biggest questions. Don't forget to subscribe to Universal Insights for more deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. Together, let's keep the conversation going, because the answers might just be waiting for us in the next universe over.